Welcome to the Eternal City. In just three days, you can experience the best of Rome, a city where ancient history meets vibrant modern life. Buckle up, because we're about to embark on an unforgettable journey through Rome's top 10 must-see attractions. Our adventure begins at the heart of ancient Rome, the Colosseum. This iconic amphitheater, completed in AD 80, once hosted gladiator battles, animal hunts, and grand spectacles that entertained up to 80,000 spectators. Imagine the roar of the crowd as you walk through its ancient corridors. The Colosseum stands as a testament to Roman engineering and architectural prowess. Don't forget to book your tickets online to skip the long lines. A guided tour is highly recommended. You'll learn fascinating details about the lives of gladiators, the complex underground structures, and the architectural innovations that made the Colosseum an engineering marvel of its time. Next, let's step back in time to the Roman Forum, the bustling center of ancient Roman life. This area was the heart of political, commercial, and judicial activity in Rome. Here, you can explore the ruins of temples, marketplaces, and government buildings. Imagine senators debating in the Curia, orators addressing the crowds at the rostra, and traders haggling over goods in the marketplace. Key highlights include the Temple of Saturn, one of the oldest temples in the Forum, and the Arch of Titus, which commemorates Roman victories. Don't miss the House of the Vestals, home to the Vestal Virgins, who tended the sacred fire of Vesta. Each ruin tells a story of Rome's illustrious past. For a panoramic view of Rome, head to Palatine Hill, one of the most ancient parts of the city. According to legend, this is where Rome was founded by Romulus. It was also the preferred residential area for Rome's elite. Explore the ruins of imperial palaces, such as the Flavian Palace, and enjoy the lush Farnese Gardens. The Farnese Gardens, created in the Renaissance period, offer a serene escape with their terraces and fountains. From the top, you get stunning vistas of the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the city beyond. It's a peaceful retreat that contrasts beautifully with the bustling streets below. Our next stop is the Pantheon, a marvel of ancient engineering and one of the best preserved buildings from ancient Rome. Originally built as a temple for all the Roman gods, it was later converted into a church. The Pantheon boasts the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome, with a central oculus that illuminates the interior. Stand beneath the oculus and feel the sunlight streaming through. It's a truly magical experience. The Pantheon's harmonious proportions and architectural beauty have inspired architects for centuries. Don't forget to look at the tombs of famous figures like the artist Raphael. Take a leisurely stroll to Piazza Navona, one of Rome's most charming and lively squares. Built on the site of the ancient Stadium of Domitian, this square is a masterpiece of Baroque architecture and art. Admire Bernini's Fountain of the Four Rivers, which represents the four great rivers of the world, the Nile, the Ganges, the Danube, and the Rio de la Plata. Piazza Navona is also home to two other beautiful fountains, the Fountain of Neptune and the Fountain of the Moor. Enjoy a gelato from one of the nearby gelaterias and soak up the vibrant atmosphere with street performers, artists, and bustling cafes. It's a perfect spot to relax and people watch. No trip to Rome is complete without a visit to the Trevi Fountain, the largest Baroque fountain in the city. Designed by Nicola Salvi, this stunning fountain depicts Neptune, the god of the sea, flanked by tritons. Toss a coin over your left shoulder to ensure your return to Rome, and marvel at the intricate sculptures and the sound of cascading water. The Trevi Fountain is especially enchanting at night, when it's beautifully illuminated. The crowds tend to thin out, making it a perfect time for a quiet moment and some great photos. Just remember to keep an eye on your belongings, as they can get quite busy even at night. Day 2 begins with the Vatican Museums and the Sistine Chapel. Prepare to be awed by one of the world's greatest art collections. The museums are vast, so plan your visit to focus on the highlights like the Raphael Rooms, the Gallery of Maps, and of course, the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo's frescoes in the Sistine Chapel are a highlight of the visit. Look up at the iconic creation of Adam and the Last Judgment on the altar wall. The sheer scale and detail of the artwork are breathtaking. To avoid the worst of the crowds, book an early morning tour. Next door is St. Peter's Basilica, the largest church in the world and a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture. Climb to the top of the dome for a bird's eye view of St. Peter's Square and the Vatican City. 
It's a bit of a climb, but the views are worth it. Inside the Basilica, don't miss Michelangelo's Pieta, a stunning sculpture of Mary holding the body of Jesus. Bernini's Baldacin, the grand bronze canopy over the papal altar, is another highlight. The sheer scale and beauty of the Basilica are truly awe-inspiring. In the afternoon, explore Trastevere, Rome's bohemian neighborhood. Wander through its narrow cobblestone streets, visit quaint cafes, and discover hidden gems in local markets. This area is known for its vibrant atmosphere, especially in the evenings when the bars and restaurants come to light. Trastevere offers a taste of authentic Roman life. Enjoy a meal at a traditional trattoria, try some local dishes like supply and cartiofi alla romana, and mingle with the locals. It's a perfect place to unwind after a day of sightseeing. End your day at the Spanish Steps, one of Rome's most famous landmarks. This grand staircase connects the Piazza di Spagna with the Trinita dei Monti Church at the top. Climb to the top for a great view of the city and take a moment to relax and people watch. The Spanish Steps are especially beautiful at sunset when the city's rooftops glow in the evening light. It's a popular spot for both locals and tourists, so find a place to sit, enjoy the view, and watch the world go by. On your final day, unwind at the Villa Borghese Gardens, a sprawling park that offers a refreshing break from the city's hustle and bustle. This green oasis is perfect for a leisurely walk, a picnic, or even a boat ride on the lake. The park is home to beautiful sculptures, fountains, and museums. It's a great place to relax, enjoy nature, and recharge before continuing your Roman adventure. Don't miss the Temple of Escalapius, a picturesque spot by the lake that's perfect for photos. While at Villa Borghese, don't miss the Galleria Borghese, one of Rome's most impressive art museums. This gallery houses an incredible collection of Renaissance and Baroque masterpieces, including works by Bernini, Caravaggio, and Raphael. Bernini's sculptures, such as Apollo, Daphne, and the Rape of Proserpina, are particularly stunning. The gallery also features Caravaggio's dramatic paintings, like David with the head of Goliath. Be sure to book your tickets in advance, as entry is limited and slots fill up quickly. Our journey concludes at Piazza del Popolo, a grand square that serves as a gateway to the historic center of Rome. This square features an Egyptian obelisk at its center, flanked by the twin churches of Santa Maria dei Miracoli and Santa Maria in Monte Santo. Piazza del Popolo is a great starting point for exploring Rome's shopping streets or simply enjoying the lively ambiance. The square often hosts events and performances, adding to its vibrant atmosphere. Take a leisurely stroll, visit the nearby shops, and soak in the beauty of this historic square. Three days may seem short, but Rome has a way of making every moment unforgettable. From ancient ruins to vibrant piazzas, this city is a treasure trove of experiences. So pack your bags, bring your camera, and get ready for an adventure of a lifetime. Ciao! Subscribe to our channel for more travel guides and tips. Don't forget to like and share this video if you find it helpful. See you on the next adventure. Ready to explore Rome in just three days? Click the link below to watch the full guide and make your trip to the Eternal City truly unforgettable.